Hi everyone, Janie here, and welcome to my first video of 2017. So, Happy New Year everyone, and I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And talking about Christmas, I want to share something with you today that I made for my husband for Christmas. It's a cell phone holder for his desk, and it's made out of toilet paper rolls. Yeah, I've seen many of them and I decided to try it and now I want to share it with all of you. So let's head on over to the craft table and let me show you what I'm talking about. I made this for my husband for Christmas and it is a cell phone holder for on his desk. And you can put your phone in this direction or that direction. But this also has other uses. See the opening here in the, in the back? Well, you can have your cell phone on the front and you can put your reading glasses safely in that opening so that you always know where to find them. Or maybe you would rather stick a pin in there. My husband made this, he does this kind of stuff. Anyways, but you can put a pin in there or maybe the stylus for your phone. But what if you don't want to use it for a cell phone holder? Maybe you just want to put your glasses on the front. Or one of my favorite uses for it, business cards. It makes a great business card holder. So that gives you some ideas on what these are going to be used for. And maybe you have some ideas of your own. And you can make them out of a lot of things. I mean, obviously, you start off with a toilet paper roll. But this one is covered in a wood grain faux leather that I got from Cricut. And I'll put a link below so that you can see what that's all about. And this is the first one I ever made. And it is just covered in paper. And I actually haven't decorated this yet. And this gorgeous thing is what I'm going to be showing you how to make today. So let's head over to the craft table and get started. To start off, you're going to need two toilet paper rolls, just your basic toilet paper roll. Mine are kind of brown, some people's are white. And what you're going to do is you're gonna take one of them and you're gonna cut a nice straight cut all the way across just like that, okay? Now, we're gonna set this one aside and we're gonna grab the next one. And again, if you have problems figuring out like where centers are, just you know, squeeze it a little bit, but not too much. And so again, I'm gonna make another cut all the way across. And now I'm going to turn it over and I'm trying to line this up so I don't make a mistake here. And we're going to cut another one at the center. Basically, we're cutting this in half. In fact, not basically. That's exactly what we're doing. We're cutting it in half. So now we have a half of one. And we have one that just has a slit up one side. And before I get on to showing you the whole process, let me give you an idea here of what we're going to do. I'm getting too close if I go at that angle. I just don't want my arm to be in your way. We're taking this so it looks like a scoop. We're leaving it like a scoop. And we are going to be attaching it just inside like that. Hope you can see it really good. It's about a, about a quarter of an inch inside. You can go a little bit further if you'd like. And then you're going to be gluing the whole thing together so that it looks like that. But I'm gonna take you through the process. Um, for those of you who think you've seen enough, you can skip ahead. But for those of you who want to get some ideas and see the whole thing, then just hang on and we'll get right to that. The next thing you're gonna to want to do is cover the outside edges of these rolls. Um, you can paint those edges, you can cover them with washi tape, um, any color, you know, to match what you're doing. You can cover it with this really pretty foil tape. 
And the reason is because you really don't want this cardboard exposed. So I'm going to do that really quick and then we'll get on to the next part. Okay, now that we have the washi tape around all of the edges, it's time to put something on the inside. Now, if you chose to paint the edges, then you might have chose to paint the inside. But I am using the washi tape, and on the faux leather one, I chose to put faux leather on the inside as well. And on the paper one, I chose to put paper on the inside. On this one, I'm choosing to do something a little special because I'm going to kind of make this maybe a little shabby chic. So I'm going to actually put felt on the inside. And I've already got my felt cut to the size that I want. And in order to adhere it to the inside, I am going to be using a Mod Podge because I can get full coverage underneath, whereas if I was just putting on glue, you know, it would go, here we go, glue would just kind of go in little strips, and I want the whole thing covered so that this doesn't come loose. So I'm going to go add that right now by like I said, painting on the Mod Podge and putting this on the inside, and I'll be right back. I have the felt all glued to the inside with my Mod Podge. And as you can see, I left a space right here without any um, felt. And the reason is felt is thicker than paper and it's fuzzy. And so I didn't want to have to glue something else to that. So if you're doing paper, you can go all the way to the edge. But the reason I left that there is because now I have to attach this. And remember, you're going to attach it so that it's like a scoop. So it's going the opposite direction as the rest of the roll. Okay. And to attach that, I'm going to use, see if I can find it here, my Beacons 3-in-1. Absolutely love this stuff. So I'll just put some right along that strip. And then I will take this. Remember, like a scoop, and I'm going to attach it right to the inside. Now, you can hold it there, or you can use um, clothespins to hold it there till it's dry. That's up to you, but I'm not going to make you wait. So, I'll be right back. Now, with that glued on, it's time to glue the back. And you're going to glue it just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my beacons three in one right along here. I'm going to fold this under and I'm going to hold it until it dries. Okay, so I'm going to be right back after I do that. And again, see we're going to put the glue right there and attach that. Before I move on, I wanted to show you how I use the clothespins. I just put them on the ends to help hold it together. You know, and then of course I stick my fingers inside, you know, and, and make sure that it's adhered really well. That's really important. And now that it is, I'm going to be taking the clothespins off. And the next step is where you would be adhering your paper or the faux leather or whatever you're going to be putting over the outside. And for this one, I'm going to be using this really pretty lace covered burlap. And I've already measured and it's less than 10 inches. I cut about 10 inches of this. I'd rather have too much and trim it off at the end. And also, if you'll notice that the burlap is wider than the toilet paper roll. 
and I'm not going to cut it down until after I glue it on. And then I'll go around and I'll trim off the edges. So to do this, again, I'm going to be using Mod Podge. And you're going to start on the back, right where the scoop part meets the rest of the roll. And you'll just take your paper or whatever. And once you put the, the glue there, the Mod Podge, you're going to line this up and that's where you're going to start. And you're just going to keep working your way around all the way. You're going to come down the front and then over the scoop and then right back to that little, to the seam right back here. And the whole way you just keep putting more Mod Podge on until this is all adhered. So I'm not going to waste your time sitting here watching me do this. I've explained it to you. And I'm going to go do that, and I will be right back. There we go. I've got the burlap all the way around. And I cut off the excess because if you remember it was a couple inches too long and then to keep it from fraying I put this around the edges it is called fray check and so it stops fraying on fabric um, I'm sure there's other things that you can use including probably just a clear liquid glue but this works really great and so now it's time for me to decorate it a little bit more. So I'm going to go do that and I'm going to come back and show you my creation. In the meantime, you be thinking about what you're going to decorate yours with. It's done. It's beautiful. It's elegant. And it's mine. <laughs> all mine so this is what one would look like if you chose to make it really elegant fancy um you know use fabric and flat back pearls on it because that's what i use flat back pearls and i took this little shabby flower and i colored it with some distress ink put a little pearl in the middle use some ribbon you know to be the leaves of the flower i just I love the way that this turned out and look at this oh yes my phone fits perfectly on there wait a minute oh this gorgeous pin that my husband made me and it'll fit nicely behind there so that I don't lose it right in that little space back there yeah, let me turn it sideways give you a better look of how that works isn't this just beautiful so now you know that you can make them in a variety of ways out of a variety of um, fabrics or things. Um, the faux leather, added some studs and some foil tape. Great way to make a masculine one. Uh, this one here out of paper which I still haven't figured out what I want to do to it but I'm probably going to put some gems around it or something like that so there you go I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can use to make these really fun and easy cell phone holders and pen holders or stylus or whatever you want to use that for I hope you have fun making some of your own and I'd love to see what you do all for watching today and I hope you enjoyed today's project and if you did I would love to hear from you I'd love your comments suggestions anything you have to say because you all mean a lot to me so happy crafting everyone bye bye <laughs>